Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and today I thought I would do a market review. It's Tuesday, April 9th, and the market is falling through in exactly the way that I formulated it to do. So, really, really, really happy that I'm seeing things so clearly. So, let's review. The market got down on Friday and carried itself through and held on the gap down. Then it did a buy setup yesterday, a Monday, carried through, which I read as uh, that it was going to do that. I actually thought it would rally the and hold into a bigger resistance area. Let's go look. My target for the market was initially 68.50. We did not, oops, we did not get all the way up there into the close yesterday. I said the target for the market, the next target today, well, I thought we we're going to rally, was 68.50 or 68.60. This morning got up, read the market in my trading room, okay, and I said, be careful, the market's along. This is very tricky because I we're, we're going, we're crushing, we're right against it. I said, we're right against the number, we're right against the resistance. If we can't lift off, which I didn't think we could do because it would take a lot of power and energy to do that, and I'll explain in a minute. I said, we're right up, smack up against the resistance. We're going to come in first, but the market's really long. Therefore, be careful. I said, this was tricky. Now, of course, I do gaps. I do them on their own, but I called the market really good today. You know, I am just seeing things so clearly. In order to trade well, you have to constantly, constantly be in check. What's it doing? Look at the price. Be in check. Am I seeing things right? What could this be doing? Let me look at the number. It's a constant self analysis, a constant check, 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 because you have to read the stuff real time. You got to read it real time. So in real time this morning, even though I said the target for the market, if we rallied today was here, we gapped up into it. And in the moment I saw this, I said, we're going to come in first. So we did. I said, I said 68.25 for the first target. We came into 68.13 in the morning. Here it is. And then we rallied up and then I said, okay, 68, we did not quite totally, totally make it. But do you see how that was the lift off? Here, here, you can see it better on the 15 minute, but I just want to show it here on the five. We fell down the, uh, oh, here it is. Oh, there it is beautifully. Look at that. Wait, 68.10 there. It fell right into the, right into resistance, which is down to day support and bounced hard. That bounce was it. That was it. That was the lift off. I did feel we were going to go over the high of the day today. I said if we didn't go over the high of the day today, we would gap up tomorrow. However, we did go over the high of the day. We're doing it. And this this rally and pick up off of ourselves by into the drop was the liftoff. We're doing it. What did I have written down as the numbers? Well, I really think 68.80 today. I'd be surprised if we get up to $69, but then again, it's only $130. It's only $130. We could actually get all the way up to here today. Beautiful, nice, bullish move. I've been calling the market bullish. Today's the confirmation. Well, I mean, I saw it that way for the last month. January and February was choppy. I said we were coming in, and I thought we might turn, turn, all right, really turn into downtrend, but we did not do it. How did I know we didn't do it? Because after this neutral slash bearish zigzaggity pattern in here of Nowheresville, the whole month of January and February, in which I felt the heaviness of the market, when we picked ourselves up here and never got down to the to the real target I said, which was 6570, never, never saw the number, and gapped up here and and held. I know we went under it, but we're holding it still. All right, we're holding the lift. And we never were toppy here. I never read this as a top. I've been saying this in every video I did. This is not a top. How can it be a top and we haven't gone anywhere? We've gone nowhere. A top means you've gone up and 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 up. Tippy tippy top, come in. If you you're trying to go, you're waiting. You're basing, you're lifting, you're waiting. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. You haven't made a top, you haven't gone anywhere. How can you be toppy when you haven't gone anywhere? This isn't a top. It wasn't a top. I knew it's not a top. Today's a confirmation of the bullish trend. I think we live through. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I think we might actually have another green bar today. Boy, would that be bullish. 
If we had four green bars in a row, that means we probably would have five. I have a feeling that we might gap up tomorrow. We'll have to see where we open. That the cleanest move would be not a gap up over today's high, but anything could happen now because buying's coming in. This morning on the low, low volume, where we were opening right in here, snug as a bug in a rug, I said I didn't think we were going to go up first, even though my bias in the market was bullish. Why? Low volume in the market. It's picked up now. Still low for the market. And especially for this time of the year. And I didn't see the, the energy lifting up. I, I said, the, I don't think we have enough energy to go immediately. We're going to come in first, and that's what we did. And now it's picking up more energy. And as energy builds on itself, it continues. It builds on itself. It builds on itself. It goes, it goes, it goes. People do tend to chase longs more than they do shorts. I don't know why, but they do. And so if this market wants to lift off and people are going to get stopped out thinking this was a top and they shorted, and people don't want to miss the rally up through here and the break of 70-50 whenever it happens, people will buy and push this. Like, it will just keep pushing it because people will chase it, chase it, chase it. And whether or not we get over here is a different story. I have to see how we act at this point, but I've been calling us long for quite some time. I, I don't know what we're going to do up here. I have a feeling if we test it, we're over it, though. I have a feeling if we get anywhere near that number, that 70-50, we're boop, we're over it. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm calling it in real time. All right, this is how you have to trade. But clearly, clearly you can see this is bullish. No one should look at this chart and say this is not bullish. No one should look at this chart and say this is toppy because it is not. And this is why you have to get good at reading charts, which is something that I teach. And anyone that has taken my GAT class or is in my trading room is getting good information because I teach every single solitary day. And I teach so much information in the class, really, that is so good. We're over 80 now. Look at this, 68.80. We're going we're gonna to go up to $69 today. This is power trending up. Push, 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 push. Go. Into 130. So here, this is an example of buying. You, we were talking about this last night in the webinar. I said I'm examples of what is short covering, okay, or buying. This is buying. Can everybody see the difference? When you do a retracement like this and you fall into yourself and get scooped up like this and you lift off, this is a breakout bar. That's the other reason we're not toppy. This is breaking out. The market's getting ready to break out. Okay, this is buying. Buying's coming in the market here. So how would you have known to buy in here? You would have known that 68 was a support area. Of course, you know, this was skill to read this the way that I did this morning. If you went long this morning, you, you got tripped up in this because it didn't carry through. Now it's carrying through. 11.15 reversal time triggers at 11.30. Here we go. Wow, we are going to get up to $69 today. Really nice bullish move for the market. It's going to carry through tomorrow, I think. I think we carry through for five green days here. That would be something. Unless we do some kind of gap up that's so extended we come in. I, I would prefer us to open tomorrow somewhere into the bar from today instead of above it for a cleaner, nicer, solid play of the market. But anything's possible here. I call the market bullish today. It's doing it. And we're going to we're gonna go over this, this tail. We're going to go over this guy. 69.27. I always said that the next number was 69.55. Let me find it. Here. 69.55. 69.76. $70. Like we will get to $70. We have to see how we act up here. Boy, if we go over this, if we go over this 70.50. This month of April, huge buying is going to come into the market. It will confirm then what people have been, people have been waiting on the sidelines. They've been waiting on the sidelines to see because I haven't been able to read this direction clearly. I'm reading it real time in very minute, intricate details. But people that want to just stand back and take a look and wait for confirmation after confirmation after confirmation that are swinging core traders that take heavy long positions are waiting for the confirmation of the break above that high at 70.50 back that happened in September. And they may not go long until then. And the break over that, people may go long. And that will push the market up. I, I don't like to enter trades like that. I like to enter trades on gaps. That's the only way that I trade, and, and it's the only way that I think anyone should trade. However, people trade any multiple different ways. And 
that is going to, when that is broken, that 70-50 area, when it's broken, if it breaks, is going to cause a real serious power buying to come into the market because everyone that wants to go cool or long then will have a clear direction. It'll be clear then. This is clear to me now. Actually, it's been since the beginning of March. Whether or not anybody believed what I was saying is a different story. Even with the red bar here, even with the topping tail, I didn't get off what I saw. I'm really, really staying true to my conviction of my own skill set, which is proving to be extremely high. And, and getting better every day. So if you're interested in more information about how to take my GAB class, it's this weekend. It's the 13th and 14th of April. And I teach how to read charts based on technical analysis to play gaps. And that's important to learn the market, to know when the market gap is actually going to follow through or do something like this where it fails on the day, in which case this was not a good gap to go short. It was a failure. It's, it's carrying through long. And that's what it did on the day. So if you're interested in taking my class, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. It's this weekend, April 13th and 14th. And I really teach people how to trade well. That is, that is the number one thing that I'm doing with my educational program. And I'm very proud of that and I've had success with it. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. This is a market call. 1.30 on April 9th. Go, go, go market. $69 is within your sight. And have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you later.